hello friends you are welcome back to my channel today is transfer tuesday so it means that we're going to update my student loan and see how far we are thanks for everybody for watching my video i'm so grateful if you are new here my shout out goes to you thanks for being part of my friends if you're an og you guys know i love you guys so much i hope everybody is doing very well keep watching So today we're going to talk about about Ghana. So in this month, all my videos, I'm saying something about Ghana because it's Ghana month. March was our independent month. So every day I'm going to say something about Ghana. That's where I'm from. That's where I was born. My entire to about 25 years, I live in Ghana. I love Ghana. That's my beloved country. And I mix back home all the time. I wish every year I can go visit. Yeah, every year I can go. So I talk about the currency in one of my videos, which I'll leave it on the corner here so that you guys can go check it out. And I was telling people about the currency that we have. And we have colorful ones. And the 20 Ghana City was the the purple one then somebody left a comment asking me what is the exchange rate between the dollar and the 20 Ghana city the exchange rate as of now is about around 12 Ghana city is to one dollar so one dollar equal to 12 Ghana city it means that I need I need if I want to get two dollars I need 24 ghana city to get to two dollars so this one this when i do the math the 20 ghana city that i'm holding right now would be like a dollar 66 cent so that's how much it is our currency is not if you change it equivalent to a dollar it's really really not good that one is the truth and everybody knows that like if you do the math like a dollar is to I have 12 Ghana city. That's not really good. But it's the economy and we are still a developing country. So we are still working on a lot of stuff back home. But today I wanted to share with you some geographical thing about Ghana. So Ghana, the Ghana, my country Ghana, when you take the equator, it sit right, right close to the equator, and it's on the Greenwich Meridian. The Greenwich Meridian is the zero degree longitude, so we are right there, right there. So that's what we people people always refer as one of the geographical terms that Ghana sits just right close to the equator. So if you know the equator on the world map. Ghana is right there. So we are directly on the Greenwich Meridian. So that's what I wanted to share about Ghana today. So enough about Ghana. Now let's dive into today's video. You guys know I'm going to update my debt today. And today I'm using a different a different debt, debt update that I created. And I'm going to show you guys. This is how it looks. This is how it look like so i have it in this form so that in a month let me zoom in so that you guys can see okay so i have it in this form so that in the entire month i can see everything at one place so i have the weekly monthly the free journey update so it means that you can use it for all your debt update the month which it today is going to be march so we are in march so i'll go ahead and do that right here to march 
2024. Okay, then I will write my previous month update. So my previous month update, I ended this month with 56,228 dollars. That's how much I, I ended with for my percentage to debt free. Which I always want to do that was 39, 99%. I always want to do that. So this is how much debt I have. And this is my student loan. I hope you guys can see. Then what I will do in the note aspect here, I will write is my student loan. That's the only debt I have. So I'll write 2022. That's when I started updating. I had $93,609.63. Then in 20. 23 I started with 74,000 then in 2024 I started with 57,421 10 cent so that's all how far I'm going when I started updating so for this month for week one what I'm going to do is that as of today, so starting balance for week one. So when I check the website, my balance for today, starting balance was $56,302.79. So payments, I'm going to put towards two hundred and seventy dollars seventy nine cents so that's how much i'm paying today so for my balance for today will be fifty six three oh two dot seventy nine minus 207.79. No, not 207. So 56, 302.79 minus 270.79. So I have a balance of 50, 56,000. $32. So that's how much I have left. So my percentage to debt free, which I love doing because it makes me see the progress towards 100%. So my percentage to debt free will be this divided by my starting balance. Times 100 minus 100 so that's 40.14 percent so that's how far we have as as far as the student loan update i hope you guys can see so that's the week one so this is how i'm gonna do it as time goes on so week two i'll do it week three week four week five Normally, we have the fifth week. That's why I did that. Then also, at the end of the month, I will do the update here for everybody to know how far we did, like the amount I paid, how much I've reduced the debt, the percentage I have so far. So that's why I created it like simple like this. I normally want my staff so simple, not too complicated. So this is how it look like so far so so next week we're going to do that then we will have everything on one page that's what i wanted to show you guys today so that the way i was doing at first i'm switching it 
around a little bit and i created this by myself from canva um i'm not sure yet whether i'm going to put it on my shop or the insect that i've been using for my planner i haven't put it on my shop yet but i'm thinking about whether i should or not even if i'm going to do it i want to make sure it comes out really well so that when i'm selling it i wouldn't sell anything for anybody so that's why i'm kind of like going back and forth with it trying to see whether it will help other people so so far this is how we are so today we end up with fifty six thousand and thirty two dollars and we are in 40 percent mark yeah 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 excited exciting 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 i can't wait to get to the 50 mark that will be a celebration for me and i also want to update my tracker so let me look for it okay so this is my tracker and we are at the 40 percent so it means i just have to add one more bar to it it's because this one is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So today that we are at 40, I can go here. So we are at 40. Yay, yay, yay. Super excited that I'm at 40. And one thing I wanted to show you guys that I wanted to write my minimum balance so my minimum payment for monthly so that would be my monthly uh, let's see so my monthly minimum payment that I wanted to show you guys is now 539.14 cents. So that's my minimum monthly payment. When I started 2023, what they wanted me to pay was about 1100. And now I'm at this point because I did apply for the government save, save on your variable loan. And this is the minimum they are giving me now, 539.14 to pay every month. So, and it might change every year because they, I have to do the program every year. You have to renew it as you go. But I'm hoping to pay it off faster so that I wouldn't go through all this. I'm just kind of tired with this student loan. So thanks for watching me today. I hope everybody is doing very well. Thank you so much. I will see you in my tomorrow's video. Go and be grateful. Bye, bye, bye.